Good morning. Welcome to the thought for the day. Uh, I remember a time in my life when I was only 17 years old and I migrated to Australia and I got a job there and I had the job only for three months. The manager called me in the office and he said, well, we have to retrench you. I'm very sorry. And what he said was, you're the last to join the company. You're the first to go. And would you believe I started crying? I didn't know how to handle that time of distress in my life. It was my first experience at the age of 17. It was too hard. And you know what? I don't know whether you are facing COVID-19, having various dis distressing times in your life. Maybe you're in a home where someone is abusing you, where they're being violent towards you. Or maybe you are in a situation where you're asking, do I have a job? I mean, I may lose my job any moment, or maybe you've lost your job already, or maybe you have to take a salary cut. Whatever distressing situation that you're in, I want you to know that we can go into God's word and we can look at the life of Jacob found in Genesis chapter 35. I'm reading verses three onwards. It says, let us go up to Bethel where I will build an altar to God who answered me in the day of my distress. Did you hear that? Jacob said God answered him in the time of his distress and this is what I want to tell you our God is concerned for us whatever distressing situation you may be facing God is concerned and what God did for Jacob was he said I'm inviting you to Bethel. Bethel was a place where Jacob had experienced some amazing things. He had um, uh, uh, experienced God in a wonderful new way and God was calling him back to Bethel. Can I ask you to do this? I want you to go back to Bethel. What is Bethel? It's called the house of God. Where is the house of God for you and me now? Hey, it's his a presence that we kneel down before him no matter what situation we may be facing whatever situation we may be uh, having to having to uh, look at at the moment whatever situation you're facing would you go to the house of God would you go to Bethel actually you'll be going up to Bethel because when you go into God's presence you'll be going up and God will help you and take you out of your places of distress would you give him that chance and you know what uh, Jacob finally said he said um, in verse 3, who has been with me wherever I have gone. You'll be able to say at the end, God has been with me in my times of distress and he has taken me and been with me everywhere I have gone. Hey, God is with you in your time of distress and he will bring you out to victory as well. Would you trust him for it? God bless you.